What's up guys? Welcome back to another training vlog. Well, we just rolled into Lazy Springs, which you'll remember the last time I was here, I made that video titled like Florida's most rough practice track or something like that. And uh, I don't believe it, but it looks like the entire track just got groomed and uh, completely changed up. Looks like the layout and the jumps and everything are completely different. So should be pretty sweet. Normally they let this place go for a couple months without really touching it, but I think now that I think about it, there's actually a race coming up here. Um, I think maybe in like two weekends or something like that. So I'm assuming they're just getting the track ready for that, which is pretty sick. It's always fun heading out to either a new track or like a track I've been to with a new layout because one of the biggest things that you have to struggle with at a pro national is learning a track super quick and uh, hitting all the jumps in like two laps because you only get five minutes of untimed practice before you have to do your qualifying lap time. So it should be pretty sweet to get out on a new layout, try and learn it really quick and put down some motos anyways guys we got the big red van out here we're gonna get her all unloaded and then we'll hit the track all right here we go i cannot get over how good that setup looks also, here's a little update for you guys on the van build so far. I'm making some steady progress. Now that Bridget's dad left, it's just been me building it, so it's kind of been taking a little bit more time than uh, I had hoped, but we're getting everything looking really nice. Um, I'm actually really happy with it, considering this is my first time doing any sort of like carpentry or anything like that. But uh, basically, my plans are this cabinet will go all the way to the ceiling. This side is pretty much going to stay similar to how it is, just with the half wall, little shelf here cabinet that opens up but obviously you can't see it because the gas can and the easy up are in the way how we built the wheel well arch Bridget and her mom actually stained and resined the floor up here where the living area is gonna be so that looks absolutely insane this is gonna be the start of the couch uh, I was gonna get like a futon or some type of like pull-out bed to sleep on but Really, the only time I'm gonna be sleeping on this thing is maybe like four times while I'm driving to some tracks that are really far away, um, like driving out to California. So it felt like it wasn't worth it to take up all that space with a futon when I was only gonna use it a couple times. That and I found a rectangular water tank that perfectly will fit underneath the dimensions that I made. So just opted to make my own bench seat. Uh, it's nice and small, compact, so that'll be perfect. Where the bench seat ends, I'll have a workbench come up to right where the wall ends and that'll come all the way back to here. And and I'll have some cabinets up above so that's pretty much it for now nothing too crazy um, no AC or anything like that yet I might decide that I want to eventually but for now just keeping it simple but I'm definitely very stoked with how it's looking so hope you guys are stoked on it too also guys merch is very very close to releasing so stay with me I know it's been a while I've kind of been running into some roadblocks with that but it's coming very soon so I'll let you guys know when anyways guys I'm sick of talking so let's go hit the track all right guys, time to head out for our first 30. Did my usual warm up moto and had a bit of a scare when uh, the bike just bogged and shut off. I was kind of worried that I blew something up, but uh, it turns out the kill switch just malfunctioned. So unplug that, she's good to go. Track is uh, freshly watered, so it's ready for us to go grind out a 30.
out the kill switch does not work. <laughs> All right, guys, first 30 minute moto done. Um, actually felt pretty good. Track's not too rough though, so it's not really sapping too much of my energy. Um, it's pretty warm out here though, definitely sweating. So I'm sure you guys probably remember one of my previous training videos where I was doing the 30 minute motos and I was getting really bad stomach cramps. I'm pretty sure that was just due to dehydration really. Not so much that I wasn't drinking enough water, but that I wasn't getting the right electrolytes and minerals and all that sort of thing to actually utilize the water I was putting in my body. So one of my new sponsors, Steel Supplements, one of the guys there, Jake Goodwin, actually watched the video and uh, recommended that I try out one of their products called Atabolic. So basically it's just a hydration drink. It's got electrolytes, BCAAs, some carbs in it for energy. So yeah, I'm trying that out today. Tastes super good, which is a positive. Not only that, but I tend to find that when I eat at the track to get calories, it really messes up my stomach. So this is a good alternative to getting the same amount of calories and carbs, but not having the volume, which can upset my stomach sometimes. Kind of have a sensitive stomach while I'm riding. Um, a lot of things bother me. So far, so good. I didn't cramp up at all that moto. The true test will be in this next 30 minute moto to see if uh, this stuff's really working, but so far, I'm really loving it. So they actually gave me a code for you guys. So if you head over to steelsupplements.com and put in the code JWALK841, you'll get 10% off of your purchase. And also any purchase you make using that code directly helps my program. So really appreciate it if you guys head over there and uh, take a look, see if you need anything. They have a whole lot of stuff like protein powders, BCAAs, fat burning stuff. Head over there, check them out, the steelsupplements.com and uh, be sure to use that code JWALK841. No spaces or anything and uh, yeah, help me out a lot. Big thank you to Steel Supplements. Ready to go do this next 30 minute moto and see if this stuff pays off.
All right, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for the riding. Got nice solid 10 minute warm up and then 2.30, so really stoked on the day. Um, the track wasn't like super rough or anything, like I said, but still good to get some of those longer motos in and just ease my way back into it. Uh, the season really isn't that far away, so it's about time to start peaking, which I feel like I'm on a pretty good path, so excited about that. Um, I didn't cramp at all that second moto, so it's actually pretty hot out here. I'm sweating pretty good, so really, really pumped to see that I'm not uh, cramping up or getting stomach issues or anything. So I really feel like that Steel Supplements uh, hydration drink is really working. So that's called their Atabolic Mix. Um, you can go check that out on their website and use the code that I told you guys earlier. So yeah, everything's good, shaping up to be a good couple of weeks. We only have a couple more weeks until I head home and then head out to California. So things are uh, starting to come around pretty good. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, as always, thank you for tuning in. Keep your eyes peeled for some merch that'll be dropping soon. I'll probably announce it on my Instagram and then I'll make a YouTube video announcing it too. And yeah, just uh, stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Oh,